Hey guys, so today's video I am going to do my eyes. I'm gonna be doing my eyes and just kind of maybe some of the rest of my face. It depends on how this video goes. I'm gonna be doing a foundation wear test today. I don't know when that video is going up. If it's up first, I will link it up here, but I assume it's gonna be up second. But I wanted to try out this palette today. I've seen a lot of really beautiful looks done with it, and this is the ColourPop Mint to Be palette. This came out last week or the week before, and I hadn't had a chance to use it yet, so I thought it would be kind of fun. I wanna do something kind of minty but understated, kind of more like inner corner focus. I don't usually do makeup looks like that, so. I don't know, I'm just kind of feeling it today. So I am just going to start putting on makeup and trying out the Mint to Be palette. I'm gonna do my brows first, I think, today because I feel like I need some kind of structure in order to figure out what I'm gonna do for, I don't know, just feel like I need it. So I'm gonna start off with my brows. Oh, subscribe if you want to. And don't if you don't, you know? Appreciate having you. Appreciate not having you if you don't wanna be here. I don't wanna make anybody do anything. You know, I can't really tell you what to do because despite what you may think, I am not your real dad. So I'm using the Makeup Geek shadows for this. You don't have to use these, but you can use eyeshadow. I've been using eyeshadow lately for my brows and I'm liking it a little bit more. This is that Zoeva brush that I was looking for that I could not freaking find. This is the Zoeva wing liner brush. I so prefer it. I just think it's a really good brush. The shape of it is just perfect. Maybe it's more or less though that I like learned with this brush, so it's just my hand knows how to use it. Maybe it's not like that much better than other brushes, but I prefer it. I've seen this new trend going around that everybody seems to be doing and it's like brow lamination. Have any of you guys tried it? Do you know what it is? Basically, it seems like what it is is the person that does it, they like brush your brows to your skin and they like, they almost make them not stick out. It pushes your brows to like sit flat on your skin. If you have really bushy brows, it could maybe be helpful. I kind of like the way it looks on people. The foundation I'm gonna be using today, if you guys are interested in knowing, I, again, I'm not sure what time the videos are going up, but I assume whatever video you're watching right now might be going up first, but you know, you never know how I plan on editing these things, but it's going to be the Bite Beauty, what is it called? It's like the Change Maker or something like that, I think is the name of it. I received it in the mail. I really didn't think I was going to. I don't consistently get Bite PR, but I received that one in the mail and I'm so excited to try it out for you guys because it looks really interesting. I've seen a lot of people really saying that they love it, but a few of those people have been sponsored, which doesn't mean anything. I trust the people that have been sponsored to give their honest account of the product, so that's not a problem, but I do wanna test it out and see what I think about it, and I am not sponsored, so. I'm gonna use a bit of the Glossier Boy Brow right now. Kind of brushing my brows more up. I'm not somebody who ever would probably get laminated brows. You know what I've discovered about myself is I am not the type of person to go get services done on myself. Like when I used to get my nails done, it was like pulling teeth to get me to go. And then I discovered that I just don't care. Like I used to love doing my nails. I did them all the time. You guys know, or maybe you don't know, but I used to always have acrylics on. And then it was just the whole process of getting them filled all the time. I still love the way that it looks. If I could just have those nails without having to go to the salon and get acrylics, I would do it. But I just, I don't know. I have really stumpy fingernails and I don't have good nail beds like other people. And so I just generally am not, I just don't go get it done. You guys can see my my hair is incredibly grown out. I just don't get my hair done that often. It's just getting services and things done like facials and hair. It's just, I cannot be bothered. Can't be bothered. And so I don't, I don't know. I will, I want to, I just, maybe I should make that a goal to stop being like that and start treating myself to things like, I don't know, services, getting things done. I just, means I have to leave my homes, you know. That's not what hermits are supposed to do. So I'm just trying to follow the way of the world. So now I'm going to prime my eyes. I'm gonna be using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. As always, this is in the shade Fair 02. This is a minty look, obviously. So we're gonna wanna have the base be kind of light so that it gives off that like milky, minty look. That's the look I'm going for, is like that sort of frosty, milky look. Atlee posted a photo on her Instagram and did a little video as well, and it was so pretty. I loved the look on her so much. And it was like this frosty mint look. And I don't wanna do as much eyeshadow as she did in that one. Like I kinda wanna just focus on the inner corner and then leave the outer corner. I don't know, maybe, we'll see. We'll see how it starts to come together. I kind of change my mind sometimes halfway through. I never usually go into any eyeshadow look with a plan. It's very, very a loose. I want to do X, Y, Z, but I never like go into it with a mapped out idea of what I'm going to do. I don't know that I ever have. I'm going to be using the tapered blending brush from Sigma for this. And then I don't know what, I think I want to go in with the lightest shade right here, which is get fresh and oh, let's do a little peel situation. Everyone ready? Ready to be satisfied? 
Oh, bitch. Maybe I should set my eyelids actually. Just setting them with a little bit of translucent powder. Now I prefer setting it with a beauty blender. Just presses it in nicer. I don't know, I just feel like it looks way more clean when I do that. Yeah, when Atlee did this, she like pushed it right here. And it was like a bright color. It just looks so pretty. I keep going back to it. There's something about the way she did it that just really did something to me. I might be using totally different colors than she used, but you know, whatever. I don't know what is going on with my skin right here. I'm like reacting to something. Maybe I will take it just a little bit of this shade right here, which is ice cold and like take it a bit into the center here. When I first saw this palette come out, I thought, did they mess up? Cause this looked really similar to me to like the St. Patrick's Day one that they put out last year, I think. But when you actually see them, they, they don't look that similar. The, these colors are way mintier. Maybe I'll take a little bit of chill factor and like just do a little bit. I'm struggling to not do a ton of stuff right out here. I just gotta match that up on the other side, but I kind of wish I wouldn't have done that. Okay, no, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, now I wanna take a little bit of this shade here, which is one of the Super Shocks that came with it. And this is, oh, it's a Super Shock Matte. Oh, this is the shade Flux. Oh, oh I haven't used a matte Super Shock in a really long time. Hmm, I don't know how necessary this shade was. It seems very similar to the ones in the pan, you know? Like it's kind of the same tone. I think if it were shimmery, it would kind of make more sense, but there are some shimmers in here, so maybe that's the case. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of this shimmer color I, up here. This is Play It Cool, and I sure will. I'm gonna take that on that same tapered blending brush, pat it right here. Right over that, ooh. That's kind of the color of the Super Shock I was hoping for. So it's in the palette, I guess it's not really necessary. I just think Super Shocks really pack more of a punch when they are uh, shimmery because that's what, where they shine. Okay, I kind of want to just leave the eyes at that. I know. I know. But I think I'm gonna put a pair of lashes on real quick. I just kind of want to keep the eyes simple like this, very inner corner focused. And I think, I don't know, I just feel like it's gonna look really pretty. Instead of like doing all this crazy eyeshadow work, sometimes the simpler the better. Heaven help me, I cannot find my lash glue. I don't know how this happens to me. I barely move anything from this area, but it's just like, it's gone. So I'm having to use this Tarte lash glue that I highly dislike. I like it, I thought I liked it at first and it seems kind of similar to like the Duo one that I really like, which is the Duo one in the tube. But this one is, I don't know, it's too sticky, but not sticky enough. I can't even explain it in any other way than to explain it like that. It just has too much stick. It's like the House of Lashes glue. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but I hate that glue. I think it's so difficult to work with. I don't know, it's confusing, but it, it just sucks. I need to trim this lash. It feels a little long to me. I have no idea what these lashes are. I just found them on my bathroom counter. They do have like brown hairs in them. Interesting, they have black and brown fibers. These could be one of the Nikia Joy ones. I've been using those a lot because I have them sitting in front of me. They like go too far on the inner corner. Trim some of the outside edge away. They're just too long. lashes are a little weird. I think the last time I wore these, I wore them with that look that I did with the bottom lashes. I'll try to link that up here. You, you guys know I did, I did like a tutorial with, I think it was the, oh yeah, I was following my own makeup tutorial from back in like 2015 or whatever. And I think that's when I used these lashes. I'm not sure, but because that eye look was so dark, I feel like it worked. But for this one, because it's light, I just feel like it looks weird. Yeah, I don't like those at all. Ugh. I need like an outer corner lash. I need one that's more light. These ones might work. Hmm. I don't know if these will either. Shysters. Shinsy. I don't know. Let's see. I just kind of trimmed them up. Let's just set it on the eye and see. These are from the Nikki Joy set. I don't know which one this is called, but these will be like way more outer corner focused. I don't know. Let's see. Those are kind of all right. I think with like mascara, they'll look better. I wish so, so badly that I could use copyrighted music on YouTube because I I just wanna sit here on camera and listen to music, like good music, not royalty free music and hang out with you guys on camera. I just think that would be so fun to listen to like real music. It's so annoying that you, t you can't do that on YouTube. Like I totally get it. I get why artists don't want people to do that. Trust me, I understand. It just would be so nice if I could listen to Spotify station while I'm sitting here doing my makeup 
up and you guys could, I don't know, hang out with me while we do that. I think that would be so fun. But you know, you can't always get what you want. I just really feel like listening to music today. It's so, it's so crazy. Well, while I put my lashes on, let's just chat. It's so interesting. I noticed it this morning. So I was chatting with my friends last night and I was telling them that I have noticed that if the sun comes out for even like five minutes, it's like my mood immediately increases. Like I'm immediately happier. I'm immediately like, oh my God, let's go do stuff. Let's do stuff. And I noticed that my mood and my motivation and everything is literally tied to the weather. I never realized it before because I've lived in Washington my entire life. And if you know anything about Washington, the rumors in the winter are true. Now, it's not as bad as people make it out to be. Our springs and summers and even falls are not that bad. Winter here is just rain all the time. Like it's just raining constantly and it gets really tiring. You just get so sick of the rain. And that's where I'm at right now. And the sun came out for maybe 20 minutes this morning and it hasn't been out in weeks, <laughs> weeks. And oh my God, the second the sun came up, I was like running around the house. I was so ready to like start filming, doing all this stuff. And I started feeling just like pure happiness. And I realized how immediately my mood is tied directly to the weather. And I am so freaking ready for spring and summer. That's what I was talking to my friends about last night. Oh my God. You know what I like about Washington though? Is that it makes you appreciate good weather more because you don't have it very often. When you do get it, oh my God, you're like such a happy person and you're just running around and you do so much. And it's just like the happiest I ever am is when it's really, really bright out still at like 9.30 PM and the sun is still going down and the sky is like that golden hour, but golden hour lasts way longer. And it's just like, it's got such a feel to it outside. You guys know, oh my God. And Washington in the spring and summer is unbearably beautiful. I am so freaking ready for that and like long days and sunshine in the mornings and oh my God. I don't even love the heat so much. That's one thing I highly dislike about the summer because we don't get hot weather year round here. We don't have air conditioning pretty much anywhere. Like our big box stores do, but homes really don't have AC here. So when it's hot, it's hot. It's hot as hell. So I think I do wanna brighten up my eyes a little bit. And I think I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Zulu. Ooh, yes. I'm not gonna do any eyeshadow on my under eye today. I just wanna keep it all top focused like that. But having that bright liner just opens up the eyes in like a really cool way. All right, let's throw some mascara on. I've been really liking this mascara lately. It's the It Cosmetics Lash Blowout Mascara. I really like it. I've been using nothing but this for like the last month, I'd say. And no complaints, though I do wear lashes every time. So I'm not 100% sure really how this performs as mascara without lashes. Oh my God. As I say that, I get like this giant clump in my lashes. It's a little bit of a wet formula for me. I kind of almost prefer a drier formula. But yeah, it's pretty nice. I don't know, I quite like it. Wow. I freaking love these eyes, dude. Although I am going grocery shopping today. So this is a little overkill for grocery shopping, but you know, getting me ready for the season I need. Spring, damn it. Okay, while we're talking about groceries, before we get into the rest of this, y'all, Franz or Franz, don't know how you pronounce it, keto bread? life-changing. If you eat a low carb or ketogenic diet, I have stayed in ketosis eating this bread. It is bread. It is not gross weird egg bread. It's not weird, it's bread. If you guys miss bread, if you eat low carb, Brands Keto Bread, now get it. They have it at Walmart, at least they have it at mine. And you can also get it at Franz Outlets if you have any of them, life-changing. You can have eggs and toast, you can have just toast, you can have a tuna melt, you can have a grilled cheese sandwich, you can have all the different things, all the sandwiches, anything where you use bread. You can use this, it's 40 calories per slice, zero grams net carbs, because it's 12 grams carbs, 12 gram fiber. Bro, when I tell you it's been life changing for me, it's so delicious, it's not weird. Sometimes when you toast it, it can almost get a sweetness to it, but like, so, it's worth every penny. Buy multiple loaves, you will not regret it. When I tell you it is the best, it is so good life-changing. Thank you, friends. You have no idea how much that means to me. And I've stayed in ketosis. I doubted it. I was like, there is no way that I'm gonna stay in ketosis with this bread. And I totally have. So anyway, if you guys are looking for a good keto bread, try that. Is my necklace twisted? Does it have like a little knot in it? Oh, that's irritating. Hopefully that hasn't been driving any of you guys nuts for half the video. Oh my God, it's got two freaking knots in it. Double knotted. Lay. Also, this is random. And I know this isn't like a chit chat, get you ready with me, but I figured I would talk to you guys about it. If any of you guys haven't seen Umbrella Academy on Netflix, we just finished season one. It's, there is no season two yet. It's freaking good. You guys should watch it if you're interested in like really unique show. It's written by Gerard Way. Who knew? Lead singer of My Chemical Romance? Like what the fuck? 
and it's so good like it's kind of weird there's definitely some weirdness to it like i mean it's it's like comic booky you know it's got some like brutal parts the acting is good i love the storyline i love like how unique it is in like it, its storyline and zach and i watched the whole thing we also watched the witcher season two hasn't come out of that yet but if you guys haven't seen either umbrella academy or the witcher both are a good watch they're totally not realistic to real life so if you're only into like you know non-fiction then you probably might not like these but if you're into like kind of that more fantasy world or like like kind of superhero-y or kind of like mixture of X-Men, Watchmen situation. I think both of them are really good. Witcher is weird too, but I loved it so much and I can't wait for season two because I really, really enjoyed season one. Okay, those are the eyes. Love them so much. I feel so cute with this eye look. I'm gonna go do my skin in a separate foundation review. I will be back and we will finish off the face. But as of right now, here's where we're at. Looking cute, I really enjoy it. I like to keep my foundation stuff separate. If it's a first impression that I don't really care about like the review of it, then I'll do it in like a first impression video, like the same thing. But I kind of want to do this as a standalone for anyone that's you know searching for it. So I will be right back. All right, my friends, in the middle of filming a foundation thing separate. <sighs> You'll see that soon. I know I look a little crazy, but you know, to be explained up, up coming. I don't have a hair tie or clips or anything in here, so I'm using makeup brushes to hold my hair up, and it's not the most effective way, weirdly. But you know, you do what you gotta do. You do what you gotta do. Perfect. So this is the part of the foundation routine where I came back to this video. I'm gonna put my bronzer and everything on. I guess we'll see how it wears on top of all of this. Lately, I've been really liking using duo fiber brushes again. You know, I go through times and I just like them. I feel like they work really, really well. They just apply like such a nice, they apply a really nice amount of product, I feel. They don't overkill, except for right now where I feel like it's a little bit overkill. But because they have like two different shape bristles on them, I don't know, I just I feel like it gives such a nice finish the products. Okay, so bronzer actually applied pretty nice on top of that. I'm gonna use a little bit of my Fenty Into Sun and uh, I'm liking using a little bit of this lately because it's a little more cool toned and sometimes my hourglass one can just look a little bit warm. And again, my Sigma blush palette. I think for today, I probably want to go with a more neutral shade like this one right up here, which is Corda Rosa. And I want to take that, tap off a lot of the excess, and then apply just a gentle bit of that. Cute! And again, with the Physician's Formula Shimmer Brick, I'm going to use just a tiny little bit of this. All right, sorry I'm not talking very much through this part. I'm just like putting my makeup on as if you guys are just sitting here watching me. I'm gonna put a little tiny bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW and then I'm gonna tap that out quite a bit. Just to nude out my lips a teeny little bit. And I need some sort of inner rim situation because it's looking a little bit crusty. You know what they say. Raw beauty crust. I'm gonna take a little bit of a lip pencil. This is the shade Hoopty from ColourPop. It's kind of pretty. I like that. Take a little bit more of that Kim KW just on the top little area here. Kind of sheer it. And then I'm gonna throw a clear gloss on. I know. It's kind of shocking. I know. This is M Cosmetics Morning Dew. Become my new favorite clear lip gloss right now. This Manny MUA's Lunar Beauty Dreamy Gloss and Patrick Ta, she's an influencer. All right, and this is the finished look. I hope you guys like this makeup look. I love it. I think it's really fun, really pretty. And if you guys are interested in seeing my thoughts, my full wear test and review of this Bite Beauty Change Maker Foundation, I'm gonna link it up here eventually. Probably. I don't know when it's going up. I have no idea the timeline and all that kind of stuff. But all I know is that I am going to be doing a wear test of it. I'm going to be giving you guys my full thoughts and rundown and talking to you guys about like any issues or controversy or anything like that. So if you guys are interested, check that out. You know, I also think I want to do a little tiny itty bitty yellow polka dot hairline fill in. I was watching one of Samantha Ravindall's videos this morning and she filled in her hairline a little bit. And I was like, bitch, that does look kind of good. And I'm going to just fill a little bit right here. I'm very insecure about my hairline for some reason. And now I'm more insecure because I feel like that looks weird. Taking the sh same shade that I did my eyebrows with. Does that look weird as hell or does that look good? I literally cannot tell. Um, Probably a little bit of both, honestly. 
Eh. All right, well, let me take these out of my hair. Now my hair looks all kinds of crazy because I just had it tied up with brushes, but you know. Eh. All right, you guys, and this is the finished makeup look. Again, subscribe. Stay tuned for a review on the Change Maker Foundation. Also, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. I love these eyes. I think they look so pretty. I like this whole makeup look. I feel really pretty in this makeup. I feel like totally ready to go out and face the day. <gasps> is that blue sky? Oh my God, there's blue sky outside. You guys, I haven't seen blue sky in literally like three or four months in Washington magical and I'm so annoyed because the weather forecast says that it's going to rain today so that means this is short-lived but right now this makeup fits and I'm so excited and I hope you guys like this video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel I guess that's it I feel like I'm missing something like I should have said something or like I'm missing something but maybe that's because I left and I did my foundation in a separate video so now I feel like all discombobulated either way it was fun hanging out with you guys and I love you so much and I hope you guys like watching me use the mint to be palette I hope you guys like this makeup tutorial look tutorial look and i thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you at my next video bye i am gonna be doing okay went off to a great thought i'm gonna take that elegant and pretty elegant that's not the word i was looking for inside it's like the house of how house this is what i'm talking about dude where I just had a pair of tweezers. Where? Where is it? You know? You know what I'm saying? The fuck did it go? Oh. Okay, well, that's fun. <laughs> Kinda like mixed a mixture. Raw beauty crust.